Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of the extra text module within the category builder. So the extra text module is unique to the extra theme and can be found in the admin of your website under extra category builder. To get to the text module, we actually need to create a new layout or open up an existing one. For simplicity's sake, I'll go ahead and open up a category layout that I've pre-built for my homepage. So as you can see here in my build, I have a text module right here. Currently it's disabled, but I'll go ahead and re-enable it and I'll update my page. And I'll just show you very briefly here what that is on the front end. So on the front end, I've used my text module to insert an email opt-in form with a short code. So it's just one of the many uses of the text module. It's a very versatile module and it can come in quite handy um, when even when building layouts for blog posts. Um, but you can also use a text module for really standard normal things like um, adding text. So in this example, I thought that my category story theory might need a bit of ex explanation or a description that people could use uh, to find out what that category is all about. So I just entered a text module in here explaining what the category was about. You could also use this to add extra headings, um, text, or anything that you would normally use a text module for, you can use uh, in the category builder as well. So let's dive into the settings on the back end and see exactly how powerful the text module is. So here we have the text module that I have on my homepage. I'll open it up by going to the uh, module settings button here. And as with all of our modules uh, in the category builder, there are three settings tabs, general settings, advanced design settings, and custom CSS. On the text module specifically, under general settings, we have text color, we can choose dark or light, text orientation, we can choose left, center, right, or justified, and then we can add content. So the, the content here, like I said, is pretty powerful. I mean, all of our text modules, whether it's in the Divi Builder, Post Builder, or Page Builder, have just a ton of functionality because it's all the normal functionality of a WordPress post or page. So I can use short codes, I can use the text tab over here to enter in some other HTML, I can add media, or I can add any kind of normal content that I would want to using all the normal WYSIWYG um, functionality. At the bottom here, I can create a admin label. This is what it'll, uh, the module will be labeled in my layout on the back end. And then I can also add CSS ID and CSS class. And the reason I would want to do that is for uh, easy uh, customization, either in a child theme or in the CSS panel um, under theme options. So let's jump over to advanced design settings real quick. So within advanced design settings, I can set a max width in pixels. Um, and if I ever want to undo that, I can just go right there to undo. I can change my text font, my font size, color, letter spacing, line height, background color, background image. I can add a border adjust my margins and custom padding just by adding pixels in here. What's really interesting, I mean, you can really make this look like just about anything. With a background image and text over top of it, you can do quite a bit, especially with short codes that are available for buttons and whatnot. You could really create a nice ad or a call to action using the text module. It's an extremely versatile module. So let's jump over to the custom CSS to see what's available here. As is pretty normal with most uh, modules within the Divi Builder, the custom CSS panel allows you to add CSS before the element, to the main element, and after the main element. So when you're done with adjusting the settings in your custom CSS, advanced design, or general settings, just go ahead and save and exit your text module. Make sure you update your page and enjoy the results on the front end. Okay, well, that's all for this tutorial. This has been an overview of the extra text module. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll make sure you get a response. 
If you're interested in learning more about Extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click the View Demo button. If you're interested in seeing more Extra tutorials, click the Subscribe button and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.